Okay, I finally got a proper start on the enclosure. Uh, a couple hours, and uh, no, I'm not done, and that's as much as I get done in two hours that I'll try to explain. Um, in the instructions, it said that if you have a certain serial number version or earlier, the um, holes aren't drilled and tapped already for you to put on this panel. And there's three holes that I had to drill and tap. And no, I didn't break any taps, but it it does make me nervous tapping blind holes. But what I did is I used the wrong drill bit in this one. So I had to go buy the next size tap and just use... I ended up using a metric one because it ended up being a little bit bigger than uh, what I was trying to do. So I, I tapped it for um, M6, I think it was. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter in the end. I got it in there. Uh, so I drilled and tapped those three holes, put this panel on. Uh, the instructions actually tell you to put this left panel on first, but if you're like me and don't have the holes there, it doesn't make sense to do that at all because you need this side panel on to have this lined up to then know where these holes all fit. So if you drink the way I did, put the left panel on first, then this panel uh, just test fit it and then you'll know where to put the holes exactly and the other problem is at the bottom it's impossible to see here but right there I had to cut about half an inch of steel off it was just there was this plate was just not fit correctly to the mill body so I just ground well I used the Dremel chopped it off and then I just ground it nice and smooth and it fit fine after I did that that was the only modification I had to do, and the only other thing I did when I was assembling um, all the surfaces that made I put in uh, just some clear silicone, like just like bathroom type silicone. Uh, I put it. I don't know if I need it on the top, but for sure on the bottoms. I think since the flood will be against the panels, I put uh, I put a bead of silicone down. Then I screwed that on, wiped it off, and then I put another bead underneath. Um, so I think it's pretty nice and secure, or uh, watertight. Uh, I put a bead silicone down that joint. And I, the window doesn't matter. The window's on the inside, so that should keep any, you know, flood coolant spray. Should just trickle down and run off way down into my nice little drain. So... Yeah, I just got like, what's that, like a quarter of the enclosure built, but um, at least it feels like it's getting there. Oh, one other thing, this panel here, they call it an ATC panel, which I'm hoping that's where the ATC will go, because I will more than happily purchase and use that once it's available. But, uh, oh, the instructions show putting this panel in the back and having the screws go this way through, but I think that's just because probably no one you know paid attention when they drew that diagram because it makes sense the panel goes on the inside and the screws go that way because you wouldn't want your uh, oiling hoses to catch on any screw sticking this way and also it's like a shingle you want water to drip off not drip in and you know make a mess somewhere else so um, yeah that's as much as I've got dino and I've got the one side window in so far and <laughs> that's all I managed this evening, but I hope the rest will go faster, and I hope I don't have to tap any more holes. All right, thanks, guys.